Hey everybody, welcome back to some more DVD unboxing videos. Yes, that is right, we're back onto DVDs because I ran out of Blu-rays to unbox, except for one, but again, I don't know when that will be coming out because I want to take my time with it, but hopefully it's out either before or after this one. So yeah, give or take. But yes, we're doing DVDs again, and this time with the Cable Guy, yeah, with Jim Carrey. Love that guy. Brilliant actor. One of my most favourite actors to watch. Comedy wise, he's on par no matter what. He, still to this day, he's my go-to guy for movies. But this was a pound. This is a brand new one. But as you know, it's technically pre-owned, fully refurbished, but it's already sealed. So some of you guys might think, oh, this isn't really a true unboxing video because it's not brand new and sealed. As long as it's sealed and you're unboxing it, I think it classes as an unboxing video um, in a sense. Because you could buy pre-owned stuff off eBay and take it out of the box. And that's still an unboxing video. With this, you get to see it and see me take out the shrink wrap. So it's kind of the same element. But this is the cable guy for DVD. This was part of my Poundland pickup video series. So again, you'll be seeing a lot of these recurring because I'm trying to add to my DVD collection once more and I want to try and get new stuff that isn't just Scooby-Doo related or Warner Bros related. I just want to try some new elements and get new content out there. And at the same time, I get movies that I love from my childhood. So it's a win-win situation. So here is the cable guy starring Jim Carrey. It is one pound, says here, quant uh, quality guaranteed with pre-owned fully refurbished. So I'm guessing with that being intake, they must have cleaned the, the disc at some point. I don't know if they use a proper machine or it was just one of those basic machines that anyone can get for a cheap price, but it's all been cleaned over, so it must work. Don't know if they tested it beforehand, but have to go with their word. It is a 12 rating, berserkly brilliant, Jim Carrey in full flood by the Sunday Times. I don't know why newspapers used to always review movies, they, they still do now, but if it's not from a news source, like it isn't from like a dedicated website who do movie reviews, it's, it depends whether I think it's validated. I've seen the movie, so I can agree it is one of the better, like brilliant movies, like it's just see a different side of him, like every movie is in like the comedy is on point but it's just so great seeing him in other acting roles it's just it's just brilliant let's take a look at the spine real quick there is no slip cover version i've been able to find online so this is the only good one i could find i think this might be on blu-ray i'm not 100 percent sure um so you have to do a bit more research on that one i just got the dvd one because it was a more cheaper option, but if there is a Blu-ray one, then I will definitely look out for that one. Now, this is what I quite like about old DVDs, that you see a lot more of the images on the back. So, mostly scenes from the movie, so obviously the introduction bit, just leave that aside, that's probably like the index menu. Then we have Jim Carrey, of course, and then we have him in gladiator mode. <laughs> Pretty good, like this scene alone, like these two scenes crack me up during the movie, especially... I think everything he does cracks me up, but I don't think I quite liked the scenes in the arena, which was pretty fun. Then you've got the the bio description, which pretty much decays from one side. Like, it's rare that you see DVDs do this, but I hate and love it at the same time. Like, some of them are worthy. Like, okay, it makes sense, because... It makes it unique, but at the same time, it's just a pain to follow through. It's like it's like you just got Word document, and for the first time ever, you can put images in there, and you put them in with your text to make it look fancy, and then you realise it's just a pain in the ass to read. And it says theatrical trailer, which I'm guessing if you've ever been to the cinema, you know those ad like those trailers that they play before the movie. It's that trailer, which is basically any other trailer they put on TV. So, again, it's pretty pointless. It's nice that they have a special features, but if you're just going to put the trailer on there, is there any point? You might as well just play the trailer before the movie, because some DVDs do do that. They play the trailer of the movie you're just about to watch. Or it could be in some VHS tape where they had the trailers for the upcoming round the clock uh, movies of that time. So, let's get straight into this one. I'm going to use my trusty knife. Um, I will want to point out now, like the last few unboxing videos I did, um, when I, oh god, when I tried to zoom in on the text on the back, 
it, it was all blurry. That was because I had the settings all set up on my phone, so you didn't get really the best results. I'm hoping now they do show up. Like, I can't really do it until it's in post-production, so it's all trial and error, but I'm always trying something new, and there's always faults when you have a new setup, so these are just one of those faults at the end of the day. So, let's get inside by opening this up, and wait, what? <laughs> um, um, Magic... <laughs> Magic Magpie Store, 10% off all pre-owned CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, games, and books with code POUND10. Um, yay? I don't think this is valid anymore. Which, don't get me wrong, I'd buy off Magic uh, Magpie. Uh, they have an eBay page, so I'll buy most of my stuff from there. The majority of it is brand new, of course, but you can get pre-owned stuff. That's what's the good thing about them, and they always do these nice little offers and that. So the the main source I go to for my DVDs, if I'm buying off eBay, because you can always get the deals and save ten percent, twenty percent, and all that. So it's nice that they included one of these. So uh, that this gives a taste of where Powerland get their DVDs. Because if you haven't already noticed, I've got this part of my Powerland series you saw the end of the video. But yeah, they get them from Magic uh, Mag Magpie, which Music Music Magpie, which again is quite good. It's a reliable source. So I'm um, high hopes that this is going to play well. Now we've got the actual DVD in hand, the artwork on it, and I have to say, it is good, but also the editing is so bad. Like, <laughs> just look where the final song crops off, like, they just didn't bother adding in the rest or trying to blend it in, they just cut it off. They photo photoshopped around him and just stuck it on there, that's all they done. And it's pretty much, you should have just used this front cover. I know I don't like the front being grabbed under the discs, but if I had to choose between that and that, I would love that on the disc, because that is amazing. Like, that is outstanding. But yeah, just copying and pasting that, not really what I call professional job. The, the title and the logo bit, that, that, that's good. That, that is acceptable. Okay, it's basic. It's not standing too much out there, but... You know, it just tells you what the movie is, the same with the ones on the front. Maybe it could have been the exact same style layout, but, you know, they changed it up and made a little bit different, so that's quite good. And then it has PAL uh, DVD video. So, again, just the basic logo that they put on any other disc. And then just pop this off, and to be fair, it looks brand new. Like, there's not even a scratch on it. Yes, there's a bit there, like... You know, you can see a little dent imprint, but other than that, that's not bad. It's not. It's pretty much the good pre-owned disc I've ever brought. And I brought some pretty bad pre-owned disc in my time, but it's great seeing um, stuff like that. So that was the cable guy for DVD. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and when you do subscribe, please make sure you turn on post notifications by ticking that bell to keep you updated with all the latest. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.